So as the football world continues to be on a football lockdown, I thought I'd take a little look at what the state of football would look like in 10 years time. But in this video, we're going to be taking a look at one team in particular, and that team is Tottenham Hotspur. That's right, folks. Here we are for, to take a little look at Tottenham Hotspur. Where are they going to be in 10 years' time? Well, I'll tell you in a little bit before that. Let's have a little reminder of who's in charge of Tottenham. Of course, no more uh, Pochettino. It is Mourinho, Jose Mourinho. They're expected to finish fourth this season. Where will they be? Well, let's have a close look at the team itself. So they've been a steady Eddie Premier League side. Um, they've been the top four candidate, top five or power 16 team for the good uh, 10 years or so. Before that, they were sort of mid-average mid, mid -average teams with a couple of bits of flirtations with the top six. Um, but a steady Eddie team, things have started to change and maybe, just maybe, a title win is just around the corner. Um, so Mourinho is in charge. Lloris is the captain. Harry Kane, vice-captain, and he is the key player. The hot prospect is Troy Parrott, rated at £7 million. He's got 17 years of age as well. Um, let's have a look at the team itself. Uh, Kane leads the line, £77 million worth of talent. Uh, Song Youngmin is second. Uh, he could, both of those could still be in the game when we come back in 10 years' time. Deli Ali is only 23. I expect him to still be around somewhere. Giovanni Lo Celso as well, 47 million pounds. Toby Adore, I doubt he'll be around. Uh, most recent signing, Stephen Bergwin is there, 21 years of age. And the likes of Lucas Moreira, uh, Moses Sosoko, and Hugo Lloris are highly unlikely to be around. Uh, the futures of Dyer and Harry Winks, are they uh, going to be with Spurs or are they going to be elsewhere? So these are the boys. Quick recap, what happens to Ryan Sessegnon as well? Of course, one of the hot talents for England. Will he make the grade? Will he not? Troy Parrott, let's go for it. So here we go, boys. Into the future with Tottenham Hotspur. Where are they? Where are you, Spurs? Are they in the Championship or in the Premier League? Uh, you know, I doubt, they're, I doubt they're in anything but the Premier League. They're going to be in there. So we're going to go type in Tottenham. And up they pop fourth in the Premier League. Now the question remains, did they win a title in the last 10 years? Or no? Oof. Second in 2023. Second in 2027, 28. Oh, they've been oh so close. Oh so they've, they've dipped down a little bit to seventh a couple of seasons, a bit of low performances, but very, very close. Pep Guardiola is now in charge. Harry Kane is still here. Uh, and the vice captain, this fella, and this fella as well. Wow, that's interesting. Let's have a look at the team then, shall we? Here's Tottenham for you. So Lucio, Lucio is the main man, but he is a region. I'm not really bothered about him, but let's have a look at some of them. Colum hudson Adoy, we know him, formerly of Chelsea. Uh, actually, formerly of PSG, who they picked him up from Chelsea for £114 million. Uh, 12 goals in 30 games for him since his arrival at Spurs. He's done very, very good, and I'm sure he's back in the England reckoning as well at 28 years of age. Hot prospect, hot prospect indeed. Um, I don't want to go to the England seat because then that will ruin it for you. Who's there? Who's not there? Where's Harry Kane then? Where is Harry Kane? Dwight McNeil, of course, formerly of uh, them six-fingered freakazoids. There he is. There's Harry Kane. £5.75 million. Pounds. Let's have a look at him. 35 years of age. Uh, still a phenomenal. Still scoring double digits in all competitions. Yeah, 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 yeah. Look at look at the averages. Look at the averages. He's been a phenomenal. He's been a testament to, to the team as well. For, uh, from his early days on loan at Leighton Orient, Millwall, Norwich and Leicester. After that, it's been plain sailing for Harry Kane. Yeah, doing bits, doing bits. Any other familiar names for you in here? Uh, Chris Meppham. Interesting. Uh, but the likes of... Uh, Deli Ali are gone. Um, Sassignon are gone. Who else was it? Troy Parrott's gone. So the transfer situation will be a little bit interesting. Uh, anyone else that. Uh, did I see Gazinga? I, didn't, I wasn't too sure. Jonathan Tars come in. Victor, blah, blah. Yeah. A lot of regens knocking about. Tonali as well. Who's this fella? He's Italian. Brought in from Inter way back when. Anyway, let's take a look at the managerial merry go -round. And how on earth did flipping Pep Guardiola get himself over to Spurs? Well, Mourinho lasted just over a year, nearly two years. He won a cup in his time, though, so he did bring some silverware. Ancelotti came in as well, won a bit of silverware as well. Bruno Langer came in uh, for just over just shy of three years, winning three cups as well. Ru Rui Pedro Silva coming in here and winning two cups in caretaker command. And then Pep Guardiola's been here just shy of two years with two cup wins. So Mourinho, in his day won the FA Cup 
nice. Uh, Carlos Ancelotti came in and won the Carabello Cup. Uh, Bruno Langer came in with three things and he won the Carabello Cup, the Super Cup and the Euro Cup in his uh, sort of spell. Uh, this Gaucho fella came in and won nothing. Pedro Silva came in and won the Euro Cup twice. I don't know why it comes up twice. That's a bit weird. And Pep Guardiola come in and won the Carabao Cup and the Super Cup as well. Maybe next year Spurs go on and win the title um, as well. So, yeah, let's take a look at the transfers then, shall we? What players missing from Spurs? So, where did they go? So, in the first season, £60 million spent. Jeremy Gellin comes in from Rennes. He is uh, now at Udinese. You guys sell him. Um, for free to Leicester, who then make bank on him uh, by Watford coming in to make a bit of a chunk of change on him. Um, next up, you brought in uh, Memphis Depay, £47.5 million. He's now at Schalke. You have him for a good bunch of time. Eventually, Brighton got him up for free. They sell him for £5.5 million. So he did okay for you. Not too shabby as well. A couple of little pickups here. Players going out. M Michael Vorm I went to Dijon out in the Dutch uh, French leagues sorry uh, next season 2021 uh, Jonathan Tarr comes in 52 million pounds from Bayer because he's still there though uh, a very a solid rock at the back 709 average uh, so a very good player for Spurs and Germany I suspect uh, Guga was brought in from Brazil um, let's have a look at Guga then shall we he's a Brazilian he's now at Wolves he's high rated um, you, you, break, you break a bit of money for him but you sell him for pretty much double your money and he's been an okay just an average sort of player for, for Wolves not really set the place on fire so you probably did the right move there uh, Linkovic Livakovic comes in still at, um, still at Spurs he's the number one and he's been number one for a good season he's, he's been on the cusp of a seven for the majority of his time here it uh, looks like taking over from Hugo Lloris um, other players coming in Moso Wagyu as well um, he is now at Roma 30 years of age you guys kind of make a little bit of money on him and you pick him up from Barcelona players going out Carl Walker Peters went to West Ham Eric Dye went to PSG he's now at Porto back to his roots um, we played for Sporting way back when. Um, you sell him, Olympic Lyon, then buy him off of PSG after an okay sort of season. Caps for England, 89, not too shabby indeed. Um, fourth goes to West Brom on loan. Gio Giorgio, um, 50 million pounds worth of talent in all this mess. Vertonghen goes to Lille. And I think that's it. Suji Ardo goes to um, Southampton on loan. Bournemouth take on Muso Suzoku. Next season, you spend 178 million bringing in Kingsley Coman from Bayern, I believe. No, from PSG. PSG buy him from a Bayern. They make a bit of profit on him. You take a hit as you let him go to Leicester City. He is a decent player, though, for you. Uh, I can't lie with that. He's now gone on to CSK in Moscow. Uh, Kylian Pilic as well was brought in. Um, surely that's a better profit for you. Yep, sold him for £7 million. So that's a good turnaround for a keeper. Uh, Guadamara is still at the club, £52 million. No, he's not. He's, he's actually uh, still at the club because he's just gone. He's just gone to, uh, to Burnley. You take a little hit on that, though. He's been solid uh, defensive midfielder for Spurs, um, but nothing to get excited about. Pepe. Um, I don't know which Pepe that was. It definitely wasn't the, the thingy Pepe. You bought him in for £31 billion. Pounds. He sent him to Norwich, who then uh, sold him to PSV for a good chunk of change. Players going out, £145 million pounds of talent. Sosoku goes to Bournemouth. Fulgini goes to Hamburg. Uh, ben Davis goes to Everton. Lamella goes to Racing Club, back out in Argentina. Yang Fourth goes to West Brom. Tanganga goes to Burnley. Danny Rose to Southampton. Aurier to Watford. Davison Sanchez to Sporting Winks. Goes to Wolves. Gets eight caps. He's now at Celtic. He's 33 years of age. Uh, they kind of wipe his face a little bit uh, with a little bit of profit. Bergwin on loan. What's his deal? Oh, my goodness. You're selling for 20.5. Dortmund spent £44 million. Chelsea spent £72 million on him. You just had to be a little bit more patient, Spurs. And he could have been a very, very, very expensive player. Next up, um, you spent 191 million pounds on Ricardo Pereira um, from Manchester. Uh, sorry, from Real Madrid. Um, Sumeri is coming from Lille. He's now at Valencia. He's a hot prospect in Real Madrid these days. Um, he's actually on loan at uh, at Valencia from Spurs. Still having 22 caps for France. Uh, Tonali, we looked at already. Grimaldo as well was brought in from Benfica. He's now at Rapid Vienna. You're selling for £10.75 million pounds to Everton. Um, Bulker as well. Players going out. Uh, Deli Alli goes to Manchester United. And he's still there. 119 caps. 
Um, so a good bit of money on him from your five million pounds you bought him from uh, MK Dons. Bergeron, there he is, to Tobias Leverkusen. Pilic goes to, to Rennes. Besides that, just a, a couple of little mm, smaller fees. 2023, 24 season, just 19 million pounds spent. Paulinho? Is that the Paulinho that you guys had before? I don't know how old he is now. But anyway, he comes in and you sell him. Uh, you kind of lose a little bit of money on him. Um, Sessignon goes to Brighton. He is now at Middlesbrough. Doesn't really doesn't really explode into the scene. They spent £28 million on him, so it's a bit, a bit of a loss. Uh, Jack Clark uh, goes to Crystal Palace, another player that kind of uh, bursts onto the scene a little bit from Leeds. He spent £9.5 million on him, and he's not really exploded onto the scene. G Giovanni Lo Celso goes to Juventus for £66 million, rising up to £84 million. Um, what am I doing here? What am I doing here? Lo Celso, history... Still over at uh, Juventus, still doing bits as well. Anyone else that we have fussed about? Not really. Next season, 2024 25, Chris Meppen comes in for 50 million. Goodness gracious me. Uh, Rastosos from Bayern as well. He's now at Ajax, centre back. You sell him for half the price. Not good business, I must say. Players going out though, 65 million pounds worth of talent, including Paulinho. Um, Ricardo Pereira to PSG, Stefan Moore, Stephen Moore, whatever you want to call him, Paulinho, Paolo Ganzinga goes to Fenerbahce, George Morris, uh, and Aquino goes to Sevilla. So, yeah. Uh, any other familiar names that we, we know about? Uh, 130 million pounds spent the next season. Nicarlo Fernandez from Boca Juniors, who is. Um, Gone to Salzburg these days, 33 years of age. Got one cap to his name. You kind of lose a little bit of money on that. He did okay for, for his time. David Chococo from Colo Colo is now at Swansea. Chilean centre-back. Uh, you make a bit of money on that one after a couple of loan spells as well. Uh, Patrick Cohallahan uh, from Southampton. He spent £74 million on this fella. Um, and he's not bad. He's wanted by Barcelona, so he must be decent. He's got 48 caps to his name for a thing. £111 million on Troy Parrott, who's now at Real Madrid. 91 caps, 72 goals. He's an absolute phenomenon. He did well for you, very, very well. And I'm sure he might even make it into the team of the uh, team of the season or team of the decade as well. Any other ones that, we, that stand out? Probably not. Moving on to the next... Uh, 2026, 27 there's Dwight McNeil, 56 million pounds coming in. Uh, Sergio Reglion as well from PSG is still at the club. Left back, 32 year old Spanish fella. Players going out. Uh, Fernandez, Adam Flint. Yeah, I always, I always think he's someone else. Whenever I click on him, I think he's somebody else. Song Young Min went to Leicester. Still in the game? He's still in the game. He's now over at Saudi Arabia and doing very, very well for himself. Just the one season at, uh, at Leicester. Two goals. Uh, not not great, but still still in the game, which is good to see. You know, a, a veteran of the game moving on. 27, 28, seeing Fedor Chalov coming in from Shakhtar Donetsk. Um, he's now at, uh, he's still at, um, what is this? He's on loan at Monaco, that's right. He did uh, 13 goals in his first season. Not too shabby indeed. Um, players going out. Dingole, whatever. And the Kingsley coming up to Leicester. Masu Wagu went to Roma. Grimaldo as well on the move. And then moving on to the to the current season, you brought in Raphael for £76 million. Marcos Romeo, uh, Joe Victor as well, Jamal Monesi, five point whatever. Caio Jorge from Brazil Club, £30 million. Players going out, Bruno Ramadez, Winston Thomas went to Southampton. You, you got £135 million back. Tomasi went to Barcelona. We already saw about him as well. And Paul Pearson and a couple of other little small fry. Take a look at your best 11s then, shall we? Likovic uh, between the sticks. Jonathan Tark, O'Callaghan, Mepham, Grimaldo, Tonali, and Dome. Harry Kane's in there playing out wide. Uh, Sung Young Min leads the line. Hugo Lloris on the bench. Who else have I missed? Memphis Depay as well. Uh, the likes of Toby Alderweire on the bench. What happened to Hugo Lloris then? Um, he's now a manager at Yeovil. His career stats... He went to Shakhtar for 9.25 million pounds, went to Lille uh, and ended his... Went to Lille and played three games before calling it a day. So let's have a look at the best 11s then from way back when, 2019-2020 season. There's Harry Kane with 25 goals, Sung Min got 20, Deli Alley 19, Lucas Moura got himself 16 as well. What happened to Lucas Moura, hey? We won't know, we won't know. Do we know what we did see, Winks? Troy Parrott we saw as well. 
Um, anyone else that we want to see? Well, I can't tell you. Next season, uh, it was more Harry Kane, Memphis Depay, and Deli Alley action, all in double digits. Uh, Liv Liv Livakovic between the sticks. Uh, Sung Young Min on the bench. Uh, moving on to the next one, 2021-22 season. Kane again, 27 goals. Memphis Depay, 12. Uh, Deli Alley, 16 goals. Seven from La Celso. Uh, Ryan Sessignon gets in the team with only 17 games to his name. Sung Young Min on the bench. Troy Parrott with seven goals this season. 2022-23 season. Uh, Parrott with 14. Kane, 21. Memphis Depay with 10. Highest rated was, of course, Harry Kane. Uh, Blitz in the show. Likovic remains between the sticks. Other alliance still with the club at, uh, at this stage. Moving on to the next season, 2023-24 season. Parrot breaks it into the lineup with 26, uh, 30 goals, in fact, in 49 games. Top goal scorer over the likes of Harry Kane. Winston Thomas gets 25 goals from out left. Um, he's now at Southampton, um, doing very, very well for sales. Tonali gets self 10 goals as well. Linkovic remains between the sticks of Sung Young Min on the bench. Next season, 2024-25 season, Troy Parrott, 28 goals. Harry Kane back to the best, 38 goals for him. Uh, Winston Thomas with 16. Uh, Chris Mepper now between the uh, a rock at the back. Next season, 2025-26 season, um, it is Sung Young Min with 13 goals. Harry Kane gets 20. Nicholas Fernandez on the bench, 15 goals as well. Uh, Tonali also 10 from the middle of the field. Uh, moving on to the the next season 2026 27 season Harry Kane 16 goals Thomas with uh, 17 uh, Dwight McNeil with 11 Linkovic remains goalkeeper Nesta Herrero uh, uh, unlucky to be in the bench with 9 goals 2027 28 season uh, Chaloff gets 20 goals Brandon Jenkins with 13 uh, Winston Thomas on the bench with 12 no sign of Harry Kane no there he is 20 goals from playing out wide how mad is that uh, Linkovic remains between the sticks and into the final season um, Harry Kane 10 goals again in the team Brandon Jenkins 16 Guido Marza with 15 on the bench. Sandro Tonali. Uh, Lucio also gets 19 goals. And Linkovic remains at the heart of the goal keeping jerseys. Here are a quick look at the overall records. Uh, most goals by one player still remains at Clive Allen, but let's have a closer look and see who came closest. 38 by Harry Kane. Troy Parrott came closest as well with 30. Uh, most assists by any player in one season. Harry Kane got 20 assists. Uh, 21 though is the record by Lucio just this season. Highest average player. Uh, 7.92 average for Harry Kane on a couple of seasons here. He actually kills it on the majority of the seasons. Only a couple of blips along the way. But these are the overall records. Records. As you can see, highest transfer paid, £88 million pounds for Kingsley Coleman. Highest transfer received is Troy Parrott's £110, maybe £111 million if you want to round it up. So, Spurs remain in the mix. Top five, top six team. And the past couple of seasons, they've been chipping away and maybe pushing for top two. Of course, they finished second last season. They finished fourth this season. Uh, where will they be next season? We'll never know, folks. We'll never know. But until then, we're going to wait till tomorrow and find out the dark horses of this current Premier League season. Sheffield United, where will they be in 10 years' time? Well, you've got 24 hours to find out. Thanks again for watching. Please like, share, and most importantly, hit the subscribe button to keep you bang up to date. All things Blackburn Rovers related, Championship related, football related. We've got it all covered right under one roof. And while I still have you, please be sure to check out some of the old videos scattered along here. I hope. <laughs>